white chocolate saga. Mm. Yeah, it is, it's a saga. <laughs> you know, it keeps, like, when you think that, that it's kind of like <laughs> petering out, like something else happens, um, and it, it's mm. a lot, it's a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I watched the entire, a lot of people have seen the clip from, mm -hmm. from the uh, round table discussion. Yeah. Um, I actually, I got a, a friend of mine sent me the entire um, interview, mm -hmm. the entire talk, because I wanted to see what exactly was happening. I didn't want to just take it from the, the clip that went viral. Because sometimes um, clips can, can make things seem a bit different from what it actually was. So I fully understand, right. John. Yes. Right, right, right. Exactly. So um, I went and I watched the entire um, talk. Yeah. And he said what he said. He said what he said. He tried to backtrack and, you know, um, and I, I believe, and he was out of his depth. He was completely uh -huh. out of his depth. Um, uh -huh. I think that, I don't think, I don't, I, I, he wasn't prepared. He no. was not prepared. Um, if you're going to be part of a talk dealing uh -huh. with Black Lives Matter, the Black uh -huh. Lives Matter movement, yeah. and you are not black, mm. and you're coming into a forum where mm. you have intelligent young black people uh -huh. you need to be able to come correct you need to be prepared if you did not know what was going on before go and find out before uh -huh. you go on that panel before you accept uh -huh. that invitation uh -huh. you know th it, this movement is not something to be taken lightly uh -huh. and so we well, it's, and it's it's not just something for black people in terms of, um, it is about us. It's about black. It's about black people, um, but there's all people of all kind of races and, and and backgrounds and so on who who get it, who understand, and who are part of the movement. So we have yeah. black, white, Indian, Asian, everybody, and everybody in between that are a part mm -hmm. of the Black Lives Matter movement, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. we appreciate, we absolutely mm -hmm. appreciate. But mm -hmm. if you're going to come into a, a forum like that mm -hmm. as a non-black person, mm -hmm. if you are not, if, if you don't know what's happening, you're not aware, like you're living on a rock somewhere and, you, and also, you are involved with the, the, the West Indian culture, you know. He has, has I've seen him around a different, because I don't know him personally. I don't uh -huh. know him at all. Um, but I've seen him around, a, he was at Crop Over last year, Trinidad mm -hmm. Carnival this year, um, probably, you know, some other carnivals and so on. Um, and we welcome everybody. But my thing is, just say thanks. Say thanks. Thank mm. you for, for yeah. allowing me to be, to be able to partake in your culture and mm -hmm. your music and your energy and your people. I mm. appreciate that. And then mm -hmm. leave it at that. You know, mm. don't, don't, don't come in and, and wanting to... Because, I mean, talking about branding something and... and um, Making it a and profession. Then, <laughs> I'm making it a profession. It's like, what? What am I hearing right now? Like, what mm -hmm. exactly am I listening mm -hmm. to? Like, really? Mm -hmm. You're branding? Mm -hmm. that, what are you branding? You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And to say that you're, to say that, to say that he's a dancer. Mm -hmm. No. You're mm -hmm. a whiner bo boy. Mm -hmm. But a dancer is a, I, my daughter is a dancer. My, da my daughter has learned and gone to school. There are dancers out there. When we have mm -hmm. the beautiful dancers, like we have Royal G, and we mm -hmm. have Envy, and we have all of these dancers who are out there doing this thing and, we, and, and beautifully and teaching people. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't come in 
to somebody else's culture and claim to be teaching anybody anything because you are still learning. You mm -hmm. are still learning, obviously. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the statement, because that wasn't an apology, the statement that he put out made everything that much worse. <laughs> it I made know. Know. everything that much worse because then it was like, what are you doing? Now you're trying to lay blame. You know, uh -huh. you're blaming on the editing of the footage. You're blaming, you know, and, and, and it's all kinds of stuff. And it's like, you know what? Just, you know, just, di just, just, just disappear for a little while. Come uh -huh. off of social media. Like, and just, 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 just go quietly. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to apologize, actually apologize. Uh -huh. Actually uh -huh. apologize. An okay. apology doesn't need an explanation. If you're apologizing, mm -mm. it is, I am sorry, I offended people, I never meant to offend people, and I am mm -hmm. truly, truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Don't try to justify and, uh. and, and, and then go into all kinds of stuff. An apology, that's like somebody saying, I'm really sorry, but you know, the reason why I did this was blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yeah. Like you're on the defense. It's like you're on exactly. the defense. Exactly. That's not an apology. Mm. No. Humble yourself. That's why I would say that. humble yourself mm -hmm. and truly apologize. You have mm -hmm. offended us as a people. That's mm -hmm. what happened. You offended yeah. us as a people. It's not mm -hmm. an apology to who if you may have offended people. You offended uh, us as a people. Yes. And exactly. so take that responsibility understand mm -hmm. where you went wrong mm -hmm. and and claim it mm -hmm. humble yourself and mm -hmm. say i am sorry unequivocally i am sorry and that is all that is it okay. and until, exactly. unless and until he does something like that mm -hmm. he canceled himself <laughs> he absolutely canceled himself 100%. 100%. The amount of people I've basically seen saying, don't come to our carnival, you're not welcome. And he, the thing is, he, he mentioned, for example, that he's upset by the way the editing made him come across. But he actually posted something back in February and made this same statement, but in writing. So right. you've just repeated yourself. So then it's definitely not editing, really, is it? If Correct. you're saying the same thing. No? And if you're, saying, if you're saying that it's editing... Mm -hmm. then you completely miss the point. Mm -hmm. You still do not understand what you did wrong. If you're exactly. saying you, you, um, the way the video came over because of the editing, you completely miss the point, my dude. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. that's the case, yeah, mm -hmm. you need to, you need to back away, back away, yeah. back away, back away, mm -hmm. go and live your life and do whatever but mm -hmm. don't mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. until until mm -hmm. you can until he can truly apologize to us as a people apologize mm -hmm. for all of that mm -hmm. and really mean it mm -hmm. then that's it that's it you're done dude you're done you're done there you go. exactly yeah exactly Exactly that. Now, what I find interesting as well, and this might not be a question you can necessarily answer, but I'd be interested to kind of get your opinion on it. The fact that he already said this in February and is only now blowing up so much because of this video, I'm just curious as to why we didn't address it previously. <coughs> is it that we've now got the confidence <coughs> because of the Black Lives Matter movement? Yeah, sorry. <coughs> Sinuses. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm. I'm just. But I didn't, know, to... I didn't know that he said this in February. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did. Yeah. He did. He did. He did. I had. Yeah. I had no idea because. Um. It was only since this video, <clears throat> and I guess because it was video, <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know who saw it. I don't know who saw that. Mm. Obviously, I guess, you know, people didn't see it because I had no, I had no clue. 
mm -hmm. that he had said mm -hmm. something like this before and put it in mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that that tells you the person. Exactly. That says the person. Exactly. It has nothing to do with the editing of a video. Has nothing. It has nothing to do with that. So, mm -hmm. you know, all I'm saying is um, white chocolate. Um, yeah, if you, if if you even want to stand the 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 uh, uh, inkling of a chance mm. of of <laughs> like, the, and, and I, I I don't even know that I don't even know that that's possible at this point. Mm. I don't even mm. know that that's possible because what he what he said comes mm -hmm. back to the whole thing with Black Lives Matter. It yeah. comes back to this cultural, you know, these culture vultures coming in and this cultural appropriation and just coming in and claiming um, what belongs to black people and what is mm. ours and, and our birthright and then mm. going out there and, and, and capitalizing on it and, and, and not giving us the credit. You know, mm. that's been happening to us for eons. And I think... Um, to their to the to, to our credit you know mm -hmm. um west indians have really come to the forefront and said listen we're not going to take this but on the other hand too we mm -hmm. also have to take some blame because mm -hmm. because he's white uncle wine he mm -hmm. was elevated to this this status mm -hmm. and it's like but we have beautiful black men mm -hmm. who are who are who are dancers who can move mm. their whole body not just their waist and mm. we need to elevate ours we need yeah. to elevate ours first and foremost mm -hmm. anybody else could come after but to, exactly. to not to not claim our own to not claim our men and our women who are out mm -hmm. there for the culture who are out there doing what we do naturally you know, mm. it's like we also have to take some blame for that. We have to mm. take it's it it's 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 a gimmick. Yeah, it's a gimmick, and that's what mm. it is, and that's mm. how it should remain. It's mm -hmm. cute, you know, to have white boys come and be able to whine, and you know that they, they they've learned to do that. Of course, yeah, it's fun, you know, and we welcome people into into our energy into our mm -hmm. carnivals our music our food our lifestyle we welcome people to come we have no yeah. problem with that mm. but don't come don't don't try to claim it don't mm -hmm. try to claim it as yours it's not yours mm -hmm. it's ours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly exactly and there's also people saying that he should have less followers than he has people are upset that he's still got so many um right you know just when it comes to the whole culture vulture thing how do you in your opinion how do you feel like we need to deal with it moving forward um well i mean that's how that's 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 up to us now that's up to mm -hmm. us all the people that are watching right now and to us as 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 people we mm -hmm. need to make sure that we elevate ours yeah. make sure and elevate ours no matter what um mm -hmm. because excuse me, that is going to be, that's key. That's key to our, we have to have, we have to have our own acceptance. What can I do for you? Siri, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have to, we have to be able to accept our own and to be proud of who we are as West Indians. That yeah. is, that, that's key. That mm -hmm. is key. And then things will, things will then go from there. Things will go from there and then you'll be able to, um, you know, you can, you can accept other people, but don't just because they're not, just because they're not black, because they're white or they're Indian or they're whatever, and they can whine, it doesn't make, doesn't make them better. And mm. that's what we have to, we got, we, we got to remember that we have mm. to, that's, that to, for me, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of like, let's say sponsors like 
Digicel or or bands that have him as their ambassadors and things like that. There's people saying things like, you know, I'll never play mass with this particular band again because they're, they're, you know, they have him as a brand ambassador. What's your opinion on that as well? Should people cancel those uh, those companies or not necessarily? Well, I well, that's it's up to the companies what they're gonna do, really, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I mean the companies have to see what's happening, um, mm -hmm. and and do the and do the right thing, do 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 the right thing, because at the end of the day, I didn't even know that he had a sponsorship with Digicel, Saint Lucia, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, I think there are probably Saint Lucian artists or athletes or personalities or you know that could have that could have benefited from that digital sponsorship you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying um yeah. to take somebody who is who is not born no i am british born but i'm west indian i'm i'm born to west indian parents so mm -hmm. i got my claim and then yes. i'm queen Soka, so hey yeah. and um <laughs> But to, 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 to somebody that is transplanted and then to put them before your people, that's a problem. Again, mm -hmm. even with, with, with the bigger companies, that's a problem. How are you yeah. going to bypass your artists and your personalities mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and your, your people that are elevated in your society and take mm -hmm. somebody who is, who is you know, Who's a who's who's a gimmick? Mm. Exactly, exactly. So okay, and another topic I wanted to bring up in regards to carnival, um, that we kind of briefly spoke about previously was slut shaming. Right, right, right. right. What, again, what do you think we we do in regards to that? Because I know it kind of blew up a little bit. I think it was when Joe Biden did his um, podcast. Yes. Um, yeah, but yeah. Talk about your feelings on that. I, I just, so many times what we do in the Caribbean and who we are is, is kind of pushed to the side. Mm -hmm. We're not seen as, as being, in, you know, influential in terms of having that power, but we do. We do mm -hmm. have that power and we do have that influence. And mm -hmm. every time somebody, like there's a Joe Budden or somebody that comes up and says, um, oh, these girls are just dressing in these costumes um, so they could be hoes and blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They then feel the power of the West Indies, of the West Indian mm -hmm. and Caribbean people because mm -hmm. it is fast and furious, that <laughs> backlash that comes because he was forced to apologize. He was forced to apologize because he didn't expect that his comments were gonna be like he didn't expect that he damn she for sure did not expect that so when yeah. that came he was like oh crap like this this like all of this coming at me we mm -hmm. have power we have to remember that we as west indian people and people of west indian descent have yeah. power mm -hmm. but we have to remember that we do if yeah. we if if we and and we have to stop with this infighting because there's too many times that i have sp spoken to friends of mine who live in england um mm -hmm. and they're like well you know the bajans are stay with the bajans and the lucians are stay with the lucians and the grenadians and the chinese and the jamaicans and everybody stays in their own little and it's like yes. why are you doing that why mm. are you doing that why are you only staying with your country your countrymen and countrywomen when mm -hmm. we're all West Indians and you need to embrace and include everybody. Yeah. You know, I, I represent for Barbados, but I represent for the Caribbean when I travel. It's not mm -hmm. just Barbados that I'm representing for because mm -hmm. I am a Caribbean woman mm -hmm. and not just because I have traveled all of these places, but because that's how I see myself. I see myself as a Caribbean woman, as a West Indian woman, a proud one at that. And yeah. it's like, I don't understand. I don't understand why it is that things are still so insular, especially 
for our our people that are living overseas, living in North America, living in England, living in you know all these different countries. Why the insularity? Why the separatism? When the Caribbean as a whole is really not that big. <laughs> exactly. It is not that big. We do not have so the more that we can embrace each other, embrace each we embrace each other's food and each other's culture and accents and all of these things. Why not? Why mm. not? Mm -hmm. Is a mm -hmm. problem. Is a problem. It is. It is a problem. And I, 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 I get really upset when I see um, mainstream media, you know, mm -hmm. acting like when we're on the road in costume that everybody mm. is just like on the road having sex all over the place and mm. you know and it's like take the time to actually learn what our culture is about exactly take that time that's all we ask mm. take the time to learn what our culture is about don't be so lazy mm. don't be so lazy as to just oh well you know girls in skimpy costumes and people whining all over the road and so it's just, oh, they're, you know, they're just wild. And it, you know, it means nothing. Don't mm -hmm. be lazy and don't be judgmental. Mm -hmm. Learn something. You understand? Yeah. Google is there. It's very easy. You can find mm -hmm. out what is the meaning of Corpova. You can find out what is the meaning mm -hmm. of Vinci Mass, what Antigua mm -hmm. Carnival, St. Louis. You can find out all of those things. You can get that information. It's at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, I mean... That's, 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 and then we have to educate people. We as mm -hmm. Caribbean people have to educate people on, on, on what, you know, what it really is. And once we do that, then, you know, just a little bit, of everybody, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, teach, teach, each one, teach one. Yeah, exactly. And I know kind of over here as well, some people kind of wish that it was like in in terms of the knowledge of carnival anyway wish it was kind of included more in like you know like black history month and and stuff like that and it would be right. good yeah people can learn because i'm kind of sick of going to carnival i'm not saying people if you you know if you're if you don't like sofa you can't go to carnival it's not that but for example if you're in a band you get guys trying to grope you and do this and do that because they don't understand. They just think, oh, yeah, well, you know, you're just, you're just on show right now for me. It's, it's right. Like you're some sort right. of animal. But, it, but it isn't that. But they don't understand, you know? Right. So, right. I, I play, right. so hot. Play, so hot. Play, so hot. Play, so hot. If your fight's ever good, body looking rude, forever looking nice because you're always in 